Wait, it has to be. It has to be. Wait, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy. Let's go! 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 let us to help you improve at Bro Hollow. So let's get right into the video. And if you've not subscribed or liked the video yet, do that right now. It would help me out so much. And yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so I did mean free tips. Uh, the title will be free tips. I didn't mean to say five. I'm just stupid and my mouth is burning. But free tips with Lance. Uh, so firstly, what the, like the biggest one that I can think of is you can set off the wall like this. And there is no, there's barely any startup frames. And this is good because you can edge guard anybody with a zero frame startup set. So all you have to do is set and face the other direction when you hit the wall. It's a really useful edge guarding tip on Lance. You can do dare as well like this. But it's really useful and I think you guys should definitely learn it. Another good tip is if they jump every single time, all you have to do is jump set and it's a zero to death. That's a really, really simple zero to death right there. Just jump, jump, jump. And if they jump all the time, that's a really easy zero to death you can learn. Uh, it's not really that hard to learn. All you have to do is practice the jumps there after every single hit. And yeah, that's the that's a jump read zero to death on Lance. Another really good tip on Lance is when you do a true combo like side like dare, you can actually sig follow up. So for example, I'm going to expect to jump up so I can do stuff like this. Um, you can also do stuff like dodge out, for example, if I set it to dodge out. So like stuff like this. And sig follow-ups are really good because they cover they usually cover more than one dodge. So I recommend sig uh, sig following up if you don't really know why they're gonna dodge and you want to take a good gamble. Because this is a really specific reaction. So doing a sig, you see how I didn't move anywhere? That would have catched spot spot dodge, dodge in and dodge out. So doing sig reads on Lance is actually really useful. And you can pretty much do that for any legend. Um, but yeah, Sig Reed's really good and they do more damage, so remember to Sig Reed more. Now again, like Lance, uh, tips on sword. After a true combo like Satellite Dare, you can do Sig follow-ups like that. Um, that was not true, but you can do stuff like, you know, if you read it, you can do stuff like that. You can probably do stuff like this, if I'm good. You can probably do stuff like that. But the best thing is just reading where they go after the uh, D like dare. Because if you read where they go and you get that extra damage, it's nice and juicy and it adds up in the end. Another thing that I learned on Sword actually like a year ago, so not that not that long ago, is when you're edge guarding with Sword and they're trying to get back to stage on the right, you can do stuff like this and drop down stairs. And the set actually catches quite a lot. Um, if you jump around and drop down stairs like this, it can actually catch them trying to get back. So if the head comes over the stage, you can actually clip them, and it's a really good way of edge guarding. Just fast fall side like this. Something really, really good for sword off, uh, sword off stage is actually uh, fast fall daring. Now a lot of people may not be used to this, but if you go like this, or and you get used to just jumping above and daring, it's a really good way of edge guarding. Uh, so practice your edge guards with the dare. Um, practice touching the wall, coming off, jumping, you know, catching their jump. Because if they jump, what you can do is you can react with a jump and a dare. And dare sends them straight down. And that's where you want to send them if you want to kill them. So practice your dares off stage. They are really useful. And it is a really useful mechanic to get good at. So I'm not really a blasters person. But I can give you three easy tips with blasters. Now the first one is you can actually cancel a ground pound. If I do it right. Uh, so basically all you have to do is you dash back and forward like that. As you see right there, I did it. Um... But yeah, you cancel the, uh, it's really hard to explain, but as you can see, I'm dashing forward and back and I'm trying to get a ground pound. It's really hard to do. I can't lie. It's very fast and hard to do. But as soon as you get it, it covers the whole stage. So it's a really useful bit of tech to learn. As you can see right there, that is really good. It is really good. And it does actually, if you do it properly, so like towards the end, um, it does actually cover the whole stage pretty much so it's a really good useful tip to learn Another good thing to learn on blasters is actually X pivoting the uh, dare off stage so like this uh, It's a really good useful thing to learn because you can obviously edge guard your opponent really fast like this instead of just doing something like 
this. It's a very, it's a very useful method um, to learn. Uh, as you can see, it's really fast, and people probably won't expect it. So to do that, all you have to do is dash forward and jump, but you have to face the other direction and do a dare. So it's X pivoting as soon as you change direction. Uh, if you don't know how to X pivot, type in how to X pivot on YouTube. There's probably like a video of Egg Soup or something like that explaining how to do it. But all you want to do, yet again, is X pivot the dare just to edge guard. It's a really good, useful edge guarding tip, and many Blasters players can probably agree with me. Now, something I'm not really that comfortable with on Blasters is downlight recovery. Um, learn the kill option. Like, see, I'm not, I'm not the best at it, but learn it. It's like one of the most useful kill options in the game. And if you learn it, like not like me, if you learn it, you can get it true like every time, like that. And it's a really good kill option, on, especially on maps like these, um, because obviously it's a really reliable, true combo. And a lot of good players still don't know how to do it, like me. So practice downlight recovery, really important. Now, a tip with Hammer uh, that I can give is specifically to Cassidy, but you can hit combos like this that are true. So downlight into Ensig. That is a true combo. However, one of my first tips is just learn all the true combos. There's like 80 on Hammer. Um, all these are really... My bad. My brain just froze. All these are really, really useful to learn. Uh, that doesn't work because of his health. But all of these are really useful to learn. And if you need a kill in the game, this is literally what you have to come to. So, learn the true combos. Down like Sare. Down like Ensig even. Down like Dare if they're, really, if they're stacked. And down like side light if they're low, so like something like this. Uh, but yeah, learn the true combos. They will come in handy a lot, especially on Hammer. Now, a tip, especially for Cassidy, but most Hammer, Hammer Legends, is you can actually X pivot a Sig off stage like this. And it is a very useful tip because, you know, some people don't expect this. And it can be really fast. Um, a really good tip for Scarlet is slide charging the down Sig. But it's X pivoted again, but X pivoting a Sig. And it's really useful on Hammer. The reason why is if you miss, you can actually recover with this big old Scoopy Doopy pickup hammer. And if you whiff like I do here, you can recover back to stage with grappling them down. And it's really useful because if you miss, the chance that you miss, you can pull them down with a hammer if they are above you. Um, like if they're trying to escape that, you can always, and then they, they fall back down. Hopefully that was a relatively good understanding of what I was trying to explain. But, um, yeah. Okay, so my English might not be the best, but daring like this and X pivoting is a really good way to kill, so keep that in mind. So, firstly, if you want to get back to stage with guitars, a really good way of getting back to stage that will surprise your opponent is saring like this. Sare is like one of the fastest moves in the game, for real. And this Sare right here will surprise any opponent. It's so fast. And even I fall for it nowadays. Um... But yeah, remember to stay back to stage. It's really useful. Another good tip is actually learning the loop on guitars. So that is this. And you basically go back and forward doing this until you physically can't no more. And then you end up singing. But yeah, doing that loop over and over will get your guitar brain in gear for a rank game. And me not being a guitar main, I know this combo. Everybody should know this combo. But yeah, just freestyle with guitars if you want to learn guitars. Now, another really good tip on guitars that I see a lot. I don't know if this is going to work because uh, Limfe is near the edge of the stage. But you throw a weapon and side light. That, I don't know if that is true. I think it's true. Uh, correct me down in the comments. But throwing a weapon and starting a combo is really, really useful. Like this. It's a really annoying way to approach someone. And people really hate it. Like me. So learn how to weapon throw approach. Literally, it could be anything. You know? It's just really good on guitars because they're so fast. So just learn it. Um, it's really, really useful. And yeah, again, learn the loop. Oh my god, that missed. It's really useful. A good tip on Spear is learning the double downlight like this. Uh, that is really, really useful combo. Uh, to do this, you need to D light, then GC, D light, and then Sarah. I didn't do it right there, but I'll do it again. As you can see, that is a true combo. Uh, you only want to be doing that when you catch a dodge. So, for example, let me just put neutral dodge on. If I do something like this, and they neutral dodge, you can go into the full combo there, and they can't dodge it. So, like this. As you can see, I think you can get something else on that. Spear mains, correct me down below. But like I said, learn. Learn the double D-light. Really, really important. 
So a really good tip for spear is you can actually egg drop. Now I can't really demonstrate this, but all you have to do is throw your weapon down and then dare. So it's like throwing my weapon down here and daring. Um, what it's supposed to do is your weapon is supposed to hit the enemy and you dare him like that. I can't show, but I can probably give an example right here. It's probably something like this off stage, you know? And it's really useful to gimp. Uh, I can't give an example because this is training mode. But learn how to spear weapon throw into dare off stage and it will most likely kill them. Because if you think about it, if you catch the dodge while daring, they can't get back. Nor, they, nor can they dodge back to stage, you know? So it's a really good edge guarding technique. Unluckily, I can't show you guys, but you get what I mean. Another amazing tip for spear is actually weapon throwing. And then if they dodge it, pick it up. So if I weapon throw and they spot dodge, that's where you can get into a really good combo. Uh, in fact, they actually just spot dodge on the floor, so I couldn't do the double D light. But weapon throwing is really good to bait out a dodge if you want to dodge. Um, and yeah, I see a lot of people in high level doing it and a lot of people don't notice what they're doing But it's a really good way to bait out the dodge like insane um, So dodge, nice, but yeah, it's a really good way weapon throwing picking up a dodge and going sicko mode So do it more. Okay, so firstly on bow a really good tip is fast full nairing learn how to fast full nair It's a really useful tip. You can actually pick them up on the floor like that. It's a good little bit of damage and it's really annoying to play against because obviously look how fast you're going. It looks really stupid as well, you just backflip it. <laughs> but it's a really good way to pick people up off the ground. And especially in twos if you wanna, you know, if you want your opponent in the air. It's a good way to just juggle your opponent. And uh, you should learn. Now another good thing to learn on board is downlight recovery. Like this, it's a really good true kill option. Um, and yeah, it's just a really simple tip. I think you guys should learn. Okay, I nearly just sent him into the outer space. But yeah, downlight recovery. Again, on bow is a really useful kill option. And you should try it more. Really reliable. And literally yonks Zul into the air. So yeah, try that more. Now, something I don't see a lot of bow players doing is fast full sairing. Uh, a lot of low tier bow players. Fast full sair is one of the best moves on bow. Um, it can bait out a dodge, as you can see. Um... And yeah, you can just shuffle your opponent around the stage. I have got him on white, but as you can see, if you if I put it to red or something like that, he actually moves quite far. So ball air is you know a really good move, along with ball fast fall nair. Ball roll is just really good, and dare to kill a crazy weapon. And another little tip quickly is if you ground pound like this, it's a really fast. If you X pivot a ground pound, it's really fast, and you can get some easy KOs. With bow. Now axe, the weapon we all love and hate at the same time. Now the combo that I'm about to show you is side like nair, GC side like nair. It's a really, really common combo that axe players go for. And it looks like this. Okay, I did it wrong because he's got a spot dodge on. Oh my gosh. It looks like this. Never mind. I'm not an axe player. It looks like this. Oh my god. There you go, uh, that's a combo, and yeah, you should learn that, because it's really useful to catch, for catching dodges, uh, fast falls, and yeah, it builds up a, a crap ton of damage, so learn that combo. Again, another little tip on axe, fast fall ground pound, I didn't do it there, but fast fall ground pound is literally like a razor blade, just, it's like a bakugan, if you know what they are, just spinning helicopter, covers like everything, but uh, ground pound is so viable on axe, it's insane. And if you're with the ground pound, you can actually just dare and just keep daring until your opponent, like me, will get really annoyed and post on Twitter. So, yeah, dare is like a really good gimping option and you should do it more. Again, you all know this, but Sarah on Axe is the most annoying move known to mankind. So, if you want to kill on Axe, all you have to do is hit this move and you are a BCX finalist. Okay, so Orb is relatively easy to pick up. Fast forward dare right here. Uh, you can actually hit a dare off the wall. I'm not an orb main, but you can hit a dare off the wall like that. And it's a really good way of gimping your opponent. Literally just like this, fall off and dare. Such a good way to kill an opponent. As you can see, it bounces off the wall and will spike your opponent, as you can see, right there. Bounce, boom. And yeah, if they're anywhere in that radius, they all mess up, so. Fast forward there is the option to go for off stage. Now, a lot of orb players know that orb has really high priority. So, fast forward set is a really good way 
of actually winning priority. I know a lot of the old mains might be shouting at me right now, but this move is really unpunishable. Like, look at this. You're literally, oh, it feels so nice as well. So learn to fast full say, um, and trust me, it will do you wonders. It will do you wonders because obviously you can follow up a say into anything you like. So fast full say again is a really good move. Now, another thing some of you all players didn't realize is Orb Nair hits grounded. And you can probably juggle them in the air like this. And yeah, Orb Nair. Orb Nair grounded. If you hit it right, look, you can just keep spamming it. So, Orb is just a really fun weapon. I actually love Orb. Man, I'd actually main this skin if I uh, was good at the game. But yeah, Orb Nair. Fast fall Nair. Really, really good. Juggle anybody. Any skill. Even Magi Mind. But yeah. Oh! Feel the burn. Let's fall Nair into there. Into that. Fast fall D light into Nair into down air, I think it is. Yeah. So fast fall D light into Nair into down air. And that is a true combo. And that needs to be abused. So if you are a Golden player, what you can do is you can actually side light into D light. So like you can fake a side light like this. I'm trying to do it now. Side light and then D light. Blah, 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 blah. And then they just pop off. So, again, another really good tip on Gaunts is weapon throw into any move, pretty much. So, weapon throw into M light is a really good one. Uh, weapon throw into D light. You know, you can do a little little bit of jazzy things on that. But, uh, yeah, weapon throw combos are really good on this weapon because, again, like guitars, it's a very fast weapon and most people can't react. So, weapon throw into literally anything. A good thing on Gaunts is some of you may not have known that you can actually steer your ground pound. I don't know what like ranking my viewers are, like what rank or like my average rank of my viewers. But you can steer the ground pound. So it's like that. And if you're in like gold, this will definitely get you up to plot just by doing this. You know, and then steer it down. And every time you hit it, just tell yourself that you're doing a Rexy. The Rexy told you to do that. Steer a ground pound. And another great thing is you can actually hit the wall. So, like, if I steer it, for example, like this, you can hit the wall and get your jumps back. Let me try it. Wait. Let me try this. Yeah, look. And I touch again and you can get back. It's a really, really good way to just, you know, keep all your options. Okay, some relatively easy ones on cannon. Uh, ground Pound actually has a splash effect. So, if you Ground Pound, like, here, I think, like, here, if I go back and I turn hitboxes on, uh, you will be able to see that the... Ground Pound hitbox, let me try it. Actually covers a wider space, like that. And if you Ground Pound there, somebody might think it's safe to come punish you, and they can go into that, which is honestly really crazy. And I think you guys should be Ground Pounding more, because Ground Pound does kill. I, I don't know what it kills on, but for example, if I have it on like 170, it kills. It kills flipping early as well, let me see. I don't think it will kill him now, but it sends them far. Ground Pound's literally, it's like a sick. Yeah, look. And if you Ground Pounded on any other weapon, like unarmed, um, it wouldn't send them that far. And you want them off the stage because it's obviously stage advantage. So Ground Pound is a really good way to, you know, send your opponents in directions you want to send them. Uh, for example, I want this guy dead. So I'm going to hit him to the left, you know? Okay, so I think Sandstorm covered this, but when you're falling, Nair can actually slow you down like this. As you can see. And, okay, I killed myself. But Nair is, uh, it stops the momentum. So when you're falling back down, Nair stops the momentum of your fall. So like, for example, if I'm up here, I Nair, I Nair. You see how I stop? This is a really good movement thing. And I'm not a cannon man, but you know, I know that Nair can come in handy when you wanna, you know, reposition yourself. To be honest, I don't really know that much about cannon, but I do have one more little tip for cannon. Uh, slide, slide an NSIG on Sidra. It's really broken, and people run into that like all the time. So you know, learn that. I don't really have anything else for cannon, so this is legend specified or specific. But yeah, slide an NSIG covers all this right here, all this. So when you're in a twos game and you want to dip. NSIG is a really good bait, so learn it. It's really good. Uh, I know a lot of people in the Venality Clan are probably going to be laughing at me right now. But um, literally any light attack can lead into a dodge. So, you know, learn that. Learn the dodge reads. And all you can do, you can literally just put it on random. And see where they dodge. And react, you know. 
So it's a really good way of that. I don't know. Yeah, this is a really good way. Put it on random. That's a tip even itself. Put it on random and, you know, work out what to do for different dodgeries. It's actually really useful. Something else on Scythe that I can't teach you is if you hit a dare on a player and they go onto the wall, you can also hit a ground pound after the dare so it looked like this. Uh, so you dare them on the wall and then you ground pound. It's really hard to explain, but dare, ground pound. It's a true combo because if you think, they'll be hit off the wall like this and they'll be in this area. And all you have to do is ground pound them. So dare, then ground pound. It's true. Now, the final tip, and this is the most useful, important pro tip that I can give you on Scythe, is if you play Scythe, just throw it away. And that's it. Anyways, guys, this was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, throughout the video, I actually had some problems with my eyes because I rubbed my eyes while eating spicy crisps. So, if you could like and subscribe, it would mean so much. Comment down below if you made it to this part of the video. Comment down apples. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, leave a like. Let's like smash the like button. We're going to try and get 300 likes on this video. But I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.